Hi class, in this video I'm going to show you um, just a quick way to draw an ECG to remind you of what uh, is all happening. It's also a great way for you to review what's important to learn about the ECG. So if anything, like I said, this is a really important summary figure. If you're ever forgot, you're in a nursing clinical, just take out a pen and whip up a drawing. I'm really big on trying to do that. So whatever you get on notes or things like that, and you should make every effort to do that because there's going to be a lot of things for you to memorize in nursing school and the easier you can make it the better. Okay, so let's just start. Again, I have the summary figure already drawn above, but this was a video of me actually doing it. Okay, so when you draw, you have, it doesn't have to be pretty. Um, so draw a little EKG. This is not exactly straight or perfect, but Okay, so I have an ECG, and you want to always read um, label. So I'm going to label it P, Q, R, S, and then T. For the purpose of, it's hard for me to trace over lines. For purpose of um, this drawing, I'm going to just use highlight. And again, I'm going to use a different color to tell you what is signifying. So I'm going to use orange as a switch green as an electrical wave of electrical energy or change, blue as the mechanical contraction and the movement of blood, and then um, we have just purple for the rest, okay? So let's start with an uh, orange pen here. So remember when the ECG is measuring voltage over time, so we have no change here, but then we have a change of electrical activity. So what happened to make it from, like, let's think of it as darkness to light. Well, a switch has to go on. So right here, you can write the SA node, fires, and action potential. I'm just going to abbreviate AP. Okay? So the SA node, fire, and action potential. So when the SA node fires and action potential, it turned on. The switch went on. The pacemaker started the pace. So when that happens, it's going to... Um, it's going to send a wave of electricity through the atrial tissue, okay? So what's going to happen is um, once the switch goes on, this whole area is going to change, right? That's a wave of electricity. So this is the P wave where it's, a, it's, it's a going through the a wave of electricity. Since the SA node is in the atrial region, but that P wave is... Um, causing an atrial. So here in the P wave region, you can write that, that, that this is atrial depolarization. I want to abbreviate depol, okay? So out, this, this, this wave of electricity is depolarizing the tissue of the atria, okay? So now that's charged with a wave of electricity. After that, it's flat. The tissue is charged and it's not flat. Okay, so what is going on? Okay, so in that um, charged tissue, you, the tissue is going to have tension and the tissue is going to want to contract, push through. Okay, and that's what's happening here in the PR interval. So blue here. I'm going to put blue. Okay. And that PR interval where it's flat, it's not electrical change, it's a contraction and the movement of blood. So this right here, this region, is where you're going to see atrial systole. Okay? So now this whole area that I have highlighted, that I have talked about, this is all happening in the atria region. So you have the contraction, you have, you have the switch going on, you have the depolarization, you have the contraction. So this whole region, I'm going to box it as yellow. This whole region is atria. Okay, so yellow for atria. Okay, so now that blood has moved to the ventricle, the ventricle is filled, now the ventricle is ready to go, okay? This should not happen until the 
atria has done that and moved the blood. So when the atria has moved the blood, the ventricles fill, now the ventricle can do its work. So when the ventricle's ready, let's now see this, the pattern repeats itself. So right here, we're gonna put that, it's the AV node depolarizing, okay? Orange again is the switch, the depolarization, the AV node. So once that is depolarized, we need the switch went on, it's gonna move through the his, the bundle branch, okay, and the Purkinje fibers. Then we're gonna see the QRS complex depolarizing all, geez, straight line here, all the ventricular tissue, okay? So this part is like the P wave, but in the ventricle, so this is ventricular, Let me rewrite this. This is um, ventricular depolarization. Okay? So the, now the ventricles depolarize. Now it's going to move into a period of again no electrical change, but this is where the ventricle will pump the blood and push the blood out into the lungs and into the body, okay? So this is now then ventricular systole. Okay, after ventricles have moved and blood has moved off, it's important that the ventricles go back to rest. So the resting wave is another kind of electrical change to set everything back to repolarize and back to the resting. So that is symbolized by the T wave. Okay, so the T wave is now then ventricular. Repolarization. After the ventricles repolarize, it is going to go back to um, rest, okay? So now in the rest time, I'm just gonna color that purple here, is diastole, the resting of the heart, okay? So that's when all the rest period. So if I was keep on drawing this ECG, there'll be another PQR, CPQR, C, so you can see that until the next P wave is the resting period, okay? So that will be diastole. Okay, and then this part from here where AV start all the way to the end of T, just highlighting in pink here, is then ventricular event. Okay. And the ECG can correspond with muscle health, um, the conduction system health, the myocyte health, and how it kind of is, of um, course, you can use it to diagnose diseases, which on the next um, series of video, I'm going to talk about pathological ECGs. Okay, hope this helps. Again, practice drawing, and you'll learn this part. It's not as difficult as it looks, and then there's many, many, um, different kinds of ECG, that's the pathologies, but we're gonna do just on some basic ones, okay? Hopefully this helps. If you have any questions, please contact me.